Look, Brenda. Look. Look, Brenda. Look. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Y'all, it is 1.30. I'm still in pajamas. James just got up and put clothes on. We have taken it slow and easy today, haven't we, James? Oh, my goodness. What? Buster just came in. Who knows what that means? Is it going to be hard, James? Is it going to be complicated? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. How, oh, you're sitting in the new chair. Is it fully cured? I don't know. I guess we'll find out why I do it. I guess so. Probably is. So, it is Sunday. There is no rain out there. Y'all, pardon this. There's no rain. The sun is beaming down. It's hot. But, we've still taken it very easy, chill, slow. Like I said, it's 1.30. I'm still in pajamas, but that's okay. You ain't made breakfast yet. No, hadn't made breakfast. Hadn't cooked lunch. I did get the sheets changed on the bed. I got laundry going. So does that count for anything? I did get a video edited. It's a long one, um, but it's over like four days or three days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three days. And there was a lot happening in those three days. So hopefully y'all have seen that and enjoyed that. We're checking all these projects off of our list. It feels so good <laughs> to me. I, I can't speak for James. James, does it feel good to be checking these projects off? No, because you keep adding more wrong. Feels good to keep checking these projects off and uh, getting things out of the garage. However, the Chester drawer, I'm not finished with it yet. I'm going to paint the sides of the drawers where it pulls out where you see it. I'm going to paint those white. My mama's coming down Tuesday, and she's going to help me put black and white contact paper in the bottom of them. She is so good with contact paper, y'all. And she's going to help me with that. And then we'll just have to drill the new holes for the new pools. And then it will be completed and we can take it to the princess house on Saturday when we go. So, that will be complete. But I think it needs that little bit of, mm, you know, to do it right. So, but I can do that inside. I already have the paint. I can just sit back there in the office, paint that part, and let that be drying, and then we'll be ready to go. Tuesday, we're going to, Delana, my mom, and myself are going to watch The Little Mermaid. Do I want to go watch The Little Mermaid? Absolutely not. But Delana wanted to go see it, and Tyler really didn't want to go, so she asked if we would go. So we're gonna go see The Little Mermaid. I love the animated one, it was like my favorite, but I really have no desire to see this one, but we're gonna go. So that'll be a fun day, hanging out with girls. But right now, I'm gonna finish tidying up and doing what I'm doing, and then I'll get out there and help James and supervise him, and uh, go from there. Welcome back to another day in the life. <laughs> okay, so my goal is to paint all the sides of these drawers, this side and that, this side, and the inside. I have this. I'm not sure what color it is. It's like a white color. Um, so I'm going to see what this looks like and just use what I have. It's Cream Delight in a set is what the name of it is. So, that's what I want to do. And then we're going to cover the bottom of these drawers with contact paper. Y'all don't look. We need to pressure wash. But, step, the most hardest step, right, James, is done. Was it difficult, James? You know what the pain is called, said? What? There's blues. I don't even know if they're going to be able to hear us while it's wind blowing. Wind's kicking it out here. Yeah. Wind's blowing hard enough we don't need a fan. <laughs> oh, well. It's going to be nice. I need to get my broom and sweep all that up there. Yep. 
We need to pressure wash bad. I think we'll have to wait till it cools down toward the fall of the year. What do you think? No? Why? Because it won't have to let be there. You don't think it's going to kill my flowers? For water to get on them? Bleach. I'm going to do bleach on these. You gonna put your um, little sun thing up today just to see how it does while you're grilling? Are you gonna do that flank steak in the grill? The oven. There it is. James is the man. And then we have our remote and look, there's our light. <laughs> Overall, James, on a difficulty level from one to 10, one being the least difficult, 10 being the most difficult, how would you rate this one? Three to four. Three to four. It was a good kid. And what was the most difficult part of it to, for you to rate it a three to four? All the times you cussed, that you dropped something, or what? <laughs> well, that, you know, operator error counts. <laughs> Now, understanding that uh, the brackets that go on the motor need to be installed before the light. Uh, I was lucky enough to catch that during the assembly process, but uh, just uh, I saved the fan blades until last, and uh, that made it a lot easier to put into place hanging the bracket. But uh, Understanding the process of how everything goes together. You know, that light fixture down on the bottom is not like a regular globe. And it really helped him because this was very similar to the one we put in the bedroom that he had put up, had to take down because he forgot something. So I think because that was so fresh that we had recently done that and it was very similar. You only, he It'll didn't. It still make you cuss. It did. It made him cuss, but he didn't have to take, put it up and then take it down. It was like, one and done for him, so. The trim and pieces are important. If you've got a trim piece that goes up to the ceiling, you've got a trim piece that comes down to the fan rotor. So uh, understanding how those go on, it's just a pressure fit, so. No screws or anything else. And She said I had a screw loose though. And then also, it's really windy today. I don't know, I don't even know how this video is coming across, but it's very, very windy today. So. The perfect day not to have a ceiling fan. Like, but we can't tell, we can't like we tell you for sure, like, you know, because it's the wind has been blowing nonstop. It, it's so comfortable out here. Oh, Buster, I didn't open it one time. Buster getting on my nerves today, y'all. He be getting on his mama's nerves. Anyway, as I was saying before Buster interrupted, we can't like tell you, we can feel it like, because the wind has been blowing all day, so. Stay tuned for that, we'll let you know. But I will link down below the one that we do have. Here's the remote and you can have your light. This is where you can turn your light on and off or you can turn everything off or you can just turn your fan off and have your light on. It has six speeds. It has a forward, a reverse and a natural breeze I don't know what the difference is and then it also has a timer one hour two hour and four hour so but the good thing about it is because of the way everything is wired and with the remote you don't have to have two separate circuits to operate the light and the fan motor it's taken care of in the remote itself and the receiver that's in the fan so and then there are no light bulbs like the screw in light bulbs it's all LED so they're like in there so basically when those lights go out you screwed, right? Well, I think they give you about 10,000 hours of operation, so we'll start to count them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> tough did it i feel like i've worked out all weekend <laughs> oh, 
y'all i've noticed that this my right side like my arms is where i really noticed it hold on as i was saying as, as i was thirsting to death i've noticed that my right side my arms is where like i said i noticed it is like shaping up faster and i think it's because i'm favoring like i'm favoring my left so i'm trying to do a little more with my left to try to kind of e even it out <laughs> it's like i guess i'm favoring it because of my wrist i don't know even though it doesn't hurt i guess that's just like in my mind but it felt so good sorry felt so good to get a workout i'm a hot sweaty mess um but i think i'm gonna go home and um well i got a clean house so i'm not even gonna try to dress or anything because i need to clean because i kind of neglected it saturday and sunday sunday we just kind of just chilled i mean we we did stuff like we put the outdoor ceiling fan up which is amazing and um you know we piddled here and there but we took our very we took our time and we were very slow about it and had i realized that it was not going to rain sunday we wouldn't have pushed ourselves saturday but it was done and uh now i'm working on the drawers the inside of the drawers i did get a, one coat of paint on them i need to get the second coat so it'll be good and dry for when my mama comes down Tuesday. Um, and y'all look, I added that disclaimer to Monday's video about stripping furniture. So it was not a tutorial. I do not know what I'm doing. I just know how to do what I do. That's why I didn't like try to give y'all tips and tricks and stuff. Cause I don't do it enough to know. So all I know is I stripped it. I went over it and got all the stripper off. I've sanded it, um, cleaned it up, steel wool, cleaned it up, got everything off, and um, repaired anything that needed to be repaired, and painted it, and sealed it. And it looks amazing. It really looks good. So I'm really proud of it. And it's a piece that she will enjoy for many many years so to any professional furniture strippers or people who know what they're doing bless you i don't and i don't claim to i just know how to do what i know how to do <laughs> so there you go um anyway now headed to the house to clean and put another coat of paint on those drawers and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to paint my back door today or not I'm probably not because I think my, I'm gonna have to get my mama to bring my paintbrush I left my favorite paintbrush up at her house so I'm gonna have to get her to bring me that so I probably won't paint the door today we'll see I don't know what's gonna happen um I won't be going anywhere because of my car I just, it's okay to drive to, uh, like to the gym, but I'm not going to trust it or attempt it to go anywhere else. So I'll catch up with y'all later. Got to cool down. Okay, y'all, just ignore this. Just ignore. I took my hat off. But I wanted to show you what I've been doing. This is the chest, all painted. Um, these are the drawers, all painted, and I've painted all the outside, well, not the back, but the sides and all the insides, not the back of the front, um, white, and then we're going to put the contact paper on the bottom, and it's going to be a black and white print. My mother has plenty of it at home. She's going to bring it, and she's going to help me, and then these are the knobs I purchased probably about a month or so ago from Hobby Lobby and they have the black and white. They look like the enamel, but this is gonna keep, be keeping in with the black and white theme. That white paint was paint I already had. These were $3.99 a piece, but I got them 50% off. And I love the oval shape 
And since we're just gonna be doing the one, let me show you. Isn't that gonna be pretty? Let's see, like that. Is that gonna be pretty? So, all I have left to do now um, is, whoops, sorry, my eyes itching. We gotta drill the hole for the new knobs, do the contact paper, and this piece will be finished and I love it and I'm so proud of it for her. Um, it's gonna look so good in her bathroom. This will look good anywhere, but she's gonna be using it in her bathroom. She's gonna use it like for storage. She doesn't have a lot of storage in her bathroom, so she's gonna use it like for towels, rags, toiletries, whatever, you know, it'll just be a great, great piece for in there. And it's gonna be keeping in with the, the panda theme. Um, Tyler loves pandas. That's one of his favorite animals. So this will keep in with that and kind of add like a little classy touch to it as well. So that's what I've been doing. And I am excited for her to see it. She hasn't seen all this y'all in person. The last time she seen it was we had put the second coat of stripper on it and um, had moved it into the garage before the bottom fell out. But she hasn't seen it in person to this stage. So I'm real excited for her to see this. And um, I can't wait. So that's the update on the cabinet and we're almost finished. Like as soon as my mom gets here, and helps me do the contact paper, drill the holes, it's done. So, yay! I am no way a professional furniture stripper or painter. I've only ever stripped, that's my second piece to ever strip in my life. It is not one of my favorite things to do, but it needed to be done. It's a lot of work. Kudos to the people that do this for a living because that's a lot of work. And I'm sure the more you do it, you learn some tips and tricks, but this girl don't know them all, so. I'm sorry if I offended anyone who does it pro uh, professionally with my amateur style, but, you know, we have a, a good, uh, smooth finish and result, so that's what counts. Loving my chairs, the same color as the table. To me, that just finishes it off and it just makes me so happy. So, I'm really proud of that. We're loving our ceiling fan off out back. I went out this morning to let Buster out and the wind wasn't blowing and I turned it on and you can definitely feel it. Yesterday the wind was just blowing so much. It was so nice outside that we couldn't tell if it was the fan or the wind blowing, but it, it's amazing. I really love it. Um, we haven't gotten any rain today, as bright as it can be. So that's where I'm at. Got my dinner laid out. We're gonna have spaghetti tonight. It's quick, easy, and delicious. And um, yeah, so now let me get back to it. I gotta see what else I need to do and I will catch up with y'all in a bit. This, look at this, y'all. This is what Buster's been doing while mama's been working. <laughs> He has got such a hard life. So hard. Look at that sweet little face. Poor sir, you're so cute. I love you, Bob. Bob, can I have some sugies? <laughs> so I wanted to give y'all an update real quick um, on the fly situation. I'm blown away, honestly. I've seen such a decreased number in flies since pest control came and sprayed like the window. I even found one dead on the floor that I didn't kill, or James. Um, Cause he sprayed this back window and all that and he sprayed all around the house and everything. And I am amazed at how much that has helped. Um, I haven't found any dead bugs in the house. Like I said, I'd only found two and killed them. But there was one outside on the back porch yesterday. I seen it and it looked very, very sick. So it's working. Whatever he did is working. And I am so grateful. It was worth every penny we spent to have it done. I would have paid a thousand dollars. Cause that's how much I hate bugs. But I'm just blown away at how the difference I'm seeing with the flies 
it's just amazing. My mom is bringing me my paintbrush. I'm just skipping from one subject to another. My mom, I left my little paintbrush up at my mom's when I went up there to help my dad because I had something I need to paint in her house. So she's bringing me my paintbrush tomorrow. And when I get my paintbrush tomorrow, I'm painting my back door. I'm gonna get that done. And I don't know if I'll paint the front door tomorrow or not, but I'm definitely gonna paint the back door. I can't paint it tomorrow because we're gonna be gone. I'm gonna do it Wednesday. Paint the back door Wednesday. Um, and just get it a good clean out here. Um, I've decided I wanna do that. It's gonna look so good. And I'm just tired of that color because it just looks dirty all the time. So I'm gonna paint that. And we found the shutters we're gonna get. So we're gonna get those and then I'll paint the front door. I gotta get the trash out. I gotta sweep my floors and see what's next. Well, <laughs> what I thought was hamburger meat that I had put out to defrost to have spaghetti tonight turned out to be cube steak. <laughs> so scratch the spaghetti, we're having cube steak and I don't know now what we're gonna have to go with it, but I'll think of something. <laughs> I don't normally tape, but I decided that I would to save myself a little bit of work. I'm still gonna have to go over it. And still gonna have to go over it and do the razor blade thing, but I had to patch a spot down here. I had something on the door at one time and it fell off of it and put a gouge in the the trim there so I've caulked that I caulked some seams there and there um but I'm going to be painting the whole door and trim around it black and I really think I'm gonna like that and when I go to paint I will tape up the door knob but I'm not gonna be painting until tomorrow I mean Wednesday so I've just done it like that for now This is what's happening now. It's about to storm. <laughs> so I think this is a great way to end today. And we'll just get up, start again tomorrow. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I love y'all. And I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.